Okay, so let's take a look at the intro right here. Um, we're going to start here at the 6th fret on the 6th string with your first finger. And that is a B flat. You're going to hit that note with a downstroke in the right hand and then move over to the 4th string and play your 3rd finger at the 8th fret on the 4th string. And you're going to pick that with a downstroke as well. And as soon as you play them, Try to let out the pressure in your hand so it kills the sound pretty quickly. You can also come down in the right hand to help it. When you come down to pick the next note and set up on that string, kill it with your hand, like that. Then my right hand is coming down, pick, and I come down and place my pick on the fourth string to get ready. Okay, that is a B flat. While that's going on, the bass player is actually playing an E, doing the same thing, and um, doing the E in its octave. So basically, what we did, and that created a tritone sound. It's a very dissonant sound that starts us on. So, but Hendrix is only doing the the two B flats an octave apart here. After you do that four times, you come into the the main part. Start it with a slide with your third finger into the ninth fret on the fourth string. Then your first finger at the third, seventh fret on the third string. And then your second finger at the eighth fret on the second string. And when you pick this note, give it a little, just bend it up a little, just give it a little push, like a quarter step bend. Uh, it just kind of gives it a little bit of more oomph on the note. So it goes. And then come over with your first finger on the seventh fret on the fourth string and put some vibrato, kind of like in a downward motion on it. So we have this. You can do all that with downstrokes in the right hand. Then come down to the fifth fret on the same string. You were just at the seventh. Come down to the fifth, downstroke. Up stroke on the same fourth string open. So we got this fret open, come over to the zero and hit the, the low sixth string open. And then take your first finger at the fifth fret on the fifth string and slide it up to seven. Look like at this. And now you can kind of, when you come down on this to pick this note, I would lower your hand or use the top of your first finger to mute that sixth string which you hit over. So that's the only thing ringing at the end. So all that all together is this. Okay, then he does all that again, exact same way. Now you're gonna see me in the performance video and Hendrix does a lot in the video. He does a lot of this. Kind of like in between the things. It's kind of like a random thing he does. He just it's, it's basically dragging your first finger up and down the sixth string quickly. You can actually you can use a third, you can use, just take all your fingers and smush them on. It's kind of like a feel thing, but he's just keeping in the groove and just if you're ever wondering in the video what uh, what uh, what's going on there, that's all it is. You just kind of kind of created like he comes up and down really really quick, um, and he'll do it all through the song. So I know we probably we won't look at it here. We'll just just do that whenever you see me do it or um, whenever you hear it, him do it on the recording. All right. So after doing that part twice, we come to after um, we're doing that last one we're right here. Then we come back to the 5th fret on the 5th string and do a hammer on to the 7th. And then come over to the 5th string, 4th, um, I mean uh, the 5th fret 4th string and then go pick the 5th fret so we get this. And then pick the 7th fret and bend it up and then back to the 5th fret. Good. All right, now we do this. You pick this note again, then open A, and then open E. And then come over to the third fret, sixth string. So we have this. Pretty easy. 
And we're going to end this intro with this string open, then slide into the seventh fret with your uh, third finger, fifth th th fret, fourth string again, on, and then take that seven again and bend it up. So it goes. And then do a ha quick hammer from five to seven. So we have this. Oh, oh sorry. Then pick five again, up stroke, open string, then slide the first the third finger into the nine. And then over to the seventh fret on the third string, pick it twice. And then third finger at the nine. So you notice it's just a bunch of first and third fingers. So, so from the All right. Okay. So now let's get to the um, the verse here. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna start with this chord. So after this, it's it's basically just uh, it's an E dominant seven sharp nine chord. It's called the Hendrix chord a lot because he used it so much in so many of his songs. But um, it's basically played with your second finger, or the seventh fret on the fifth string, your first finger at the sixth fret on the fourth string. Then your third finger at the seventh fret on the third string, and then your pinky at the eighth fret on the second string. And you can have this, since it's an E chord, it's an E dominant seven, you can have this low E in there too, and it'll sound fun. When he plays this chord, he really shakes, shakes it pretty hard. Okay, we're gonna go through the three chords here, and then we'll work on the rhythm a little bit. So we have that opening chord, and then it goes down to a G major chord. Now, we would usually play G major like this, to A major like this. How Hendrix fingered his chords is he played his thumb here on the sixth string, third fret, and then he barred these second and third, the, the, these uh, first and second strings at the third fret, and then he took his second finger right here on the fourth fret, third string, and then the third finger at the fifth fret on the fourth string. And this the fifth string would be muted by like the top of the, the third finger. So that's how he would play his bar chords. They could move them around easy. And then he, this, the, the third chord in the progression is the same thing, just two frets higher as the fifth fret. It's an A major chord. So we have this. All right. Now the rhythm, you just kind of groove in on it. Now when he gets this A, he does a little trill, which is basically your pinky coming down on the second string where your first finger is holding. You come down, when you strum the chord, you do a little hammer-on pull-off of the second, seventh fret. You can see, because we're using the other finger, so you gotta do it with your pinky. And the seventh fret there on the second string, when you strum this, just on and off. All right, so just try to get a, if you look at my right hand, Okay, so it's just like one, two. So it's good. See how you get, you have a little chugging on the E string. Kind of accentuating that E string a lot. So try to just find a cool groove and, and just let your arm relax. As long as your arm's consistently doing this and you're feeling and, and that you'll have the feel easy. All right, so after you do that three times, So, this, so after three times of that, you come and you hit the sixth string by itself and just kill everything. That's when he goes, excuse me, what? That, that part, sorry about the singing. <laughs> anyway, so, and then we have this little turnaround, this little uh, riff that that's, uh, takes us back to the verse again. Uh, so after he does this little vocal thing, there's a few beats there, and then we do this. We do an octave, we slide into an octave shape at the ninth fret on the fifth string with your first finger, and then the pinky at the third string um, on the uh, 11th fret. 
those two goes together. You can use your third finger here or your pinky. I like to use my pinky. But you want to mute that string in the middle between them. It's strumming three strings and there's one in the middle is muted by the bottom of the first finger. You want to slide into that and then come down two frets and then two more frets. Look at this. Okay, and then it ends that little turnaround goes just the same 9th fret, 7th fret, 8th fret that we did at the beginning of the song. It does that twice. So we had this. And then back to the riff. So, so first. Okay, so that's it for the intro and the verse.